guys, I know I haven't filmed the favorites video in a very, very long time, but I decided that I'm going to put together a July favorites, which would be mostly my current favorites. To be honest, I haven't been using too, too many products. I haven't really gone out and bought that much stuff. Um, mainly the things that I have been buying have been uh, going towards my house or my baby, soon to be. So I've been doing a lot of just house and baby stuff. So uh, myself, clothes, makeup, all that has kind of been put um, on the back burner for now which I don't mind at all. I've been having so, so much fun uh, shopping for a baby and house and all that stuff. So um, I think I'm going to be putting up a haul for um, some of the baby stuff that I have been picking up because I know there's a lot of moms out there and a lot of people who are interested in not only uh, makeup but um, the mom, soon-to-be mom side of me as well. So I definitely want to share all those kind of things that I have been picking up along the way but without further ado, let's just get started into makeup and beauty and all that stuff that I am known for. So the number one product that I have to mention in my favorites is uh, the Mama Mio uh, Tummy Rub. And this is the Stretch Mark Oil. They have a cream version as well, but I like the oil more because it's faster to put on and I find my skin is more hydrated when I do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> my skin is more hydrated when I do use the oil so I've been using this twice a day and so far so good don't have any stretch marks so no complaints some people complain about the smell it doesn't bother me I was using that Palmer stuff and I couldn't handle the smell and I know a lot of people use that and love it I can't stand the smell of that but that has been my go-to pregnancy oil the fragrance that I've been loving is from Bath and Body Works and it's their forever red and it smells really, really good. I saw this in Jaclyn Hill's video when she talked about this, so I went out to go and buy it and smell it, and I have been loving it as well. Mm -hmm. Of going out in the sun, I know you're supposed to limit your sun exposure when you are pregnant, but um, I go to cottage, I go swimming, and I haven't been just laying out in the sun, but I do go outside, so when I do go outside, I've been really liking the Hawaiian Tropic uh, Silk Hydration Sunscreen Lotion and in 30, so I still do get a tan when I wear a 30, but I don't burn. And I like that it's a lotion because it just goes on a whole lot easier and it's very moisturizing. It says it's a 12-hour moisturization, and I do attest to the claims of that. It does keep my skin hydrated, which is something that I need, especially since it's all expanding right now. Here, I bought one of these Amped Up by Cricut little tease brushes. I didn't tease my hair today. Uh, all my volume is attributed to a uh, hairspray that I was using, but this little guy uh, works really well at back combing my hair, and I just absolutely love it. I do recommend these if you're looking for a comb specifically for teasing your hair. This is amazing. Makeup. I went to Walmart a while ago and I picked up the Real Techniques brushes and I absolutely love the multitask brush. It's as the name says, it's great multitask brush and it's good for everything. I particularly like it for uh, bronzing and using it just uh, the tapered little bit there to contour my cheeks and then maybe a little bit of blush but uh, you can use this for pretty much anything. It's so, so good for the face, so I'm loving that. We're going to see a trend in some of the makeup products I mentioned. Everything is for quick and easy face. I haven't been doing crazy amounts of makeup. Um, today I did a tutorial for this look, so that's why I'm done up, but uh, for the summer I keep it to a bare minimum, and my foundation or uh, just skin thing of choice would be the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and it has an SPF of 35 and it's in the shade light and I really really like this for everyday wear it works really well for when I go out in the sun as well instead of putting a sunscreen on my face which I find um, always irritates and gives me pimples like I have sunscreen I put on yesterday and I I got pimples but this, when I go outside with this, I don't burn and it doesn't irritate my skin. So I really like that. I've been trying out the Benefit uh, What's Up uh, highlighter and I'm wearing it today on my cheekbones. But it's just really gorgeous highlighter and that's what it looks like. 
and then you just blend it in and it's not as stark but it's really nice sheen to the skin and I've been really liking that for my brows I'm not wearing it today but on a daily I've been using a MAC spiked I've go gone back to this and I really really like it and I think the back end just fell off I bought a backup of this because it is running out but that's the color and it's a decent color for my hair so I'm really liking this and as I said it's really quick and fast and easy to do and fill in my brows another thing I've been using for my brows to clean them up a bit more is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, it's a matte little highlight pen thing or pencil and it looks like this and you blend that in and it just cleans up the under eye area really nice plus giving a matte highlight so I've been really liking that and I'm not wearing it right now but maybe I could put it on conveniently I have a mirror here so you just place it under your brow and I just blend it out with my finger but it's nice to cover up like any stray hairs that you might have um, if you haven't plucked or forgot to and it just really cleans up the brow area and just makes it look like a really nice highlight so definitely liking that and in terms of bronzer I've been really liking the Nude on Board Pro Longwear Bronzing Powder by MAC that came out with their uh, summer collection I forget what it's called um, I bought this in store because it sold it online but it says it's a pro longwear blush, I mean, a pro longwear bronzer, and it does uh, wear very well on the skin throughout the day. And that's what the color looks like. It's really nice. You can contour with it as well because it's not high in shimmer, but it does provide a really nice color to the cheeks. I'm not wearing it right now because I did do a tutorial but those are the products that I have been going towards this month uh, one more thing that I need to mention is okay actually I have two more things that I want to mention one was for my hair as well and I forgot it downstairs in my bathroom but it's the new me argan oil I absolutely love that I've been meaning to mention it for months and months and months and I know everyone talks about new me and their products and everything like that but they are great I've tried um, their Hydra Oil, their Shampoo Conditioner, and those are good too, but if you were to pick up any kind of hair product from Numi, it would be their Argan Oil. It is so good. I use it in my hair before I blow dry, and it just leaves it really nice and silky smooth and shiny. So that's one of the hair products I do highly, highly recommend, and has been keeping my hair really nice. And the last thing I wanted to mention is this phone case uh, by Marked. This is the Moroccan Tiles one, and I was sent this product, but I wanted to mention this, I'm not getting paid for it, but I think it's a really, really good cause. Um, marked, uh, when you purchase one of their cell phone cases, a portion of the proceeds go towards girls in third world countries, towards uh, reading and helping them educate themselves. So. I think that's a really good cause if you're going to be buying something just like a phone case why not uh, put your money towards one that actually uh, will help other people so I think this is a really good phone case it's sturdy um, two parts come in it I'm just going to take out my iPhone right now the shell part of this case and then that's like that so a lot of phone cases I find just come with this shell or like parts that detach and just hook on your phone which can scratch your phone but this has even extra protection on it with um you can see me and my husband there and what time it is but you can see the extra protection on this phone just by this white little casing which goes on before you clip on uh, this to the back so it just slides on you have full function of all your buttons and ports and as I said, a portion of the proceeds go towards helping girls in less fortunate countries than ours uh, help them to read. I'm pretty sure that's everything for my products. Uh, there isn't that many and I kind of rushed through it all because 
I did want to uh, not make this too, too long. So sometimes I can ramble with my favorites and especially since I haven't really talked and see, like talked to you guys in a very long time. So I want to do a bunch of videos for you, an updated pregnancy, I'm going to do like a baby haul type thing and some makeup and all that are always going to be coming up on my channel. So definitely stay tuned. I am filming. It's just getting to the editing. My biggest fallback is not the filming. It's uh, editing, the, editing them, which I actually really do enjoy. It's just, I get so sidetracked when I'm on the computer. I'll just look at everyone else's stuff and not focus on my own. So that's uh, my own problem there. But I will try and get up more videos for you guys soon. And uh, let me know what your favorites were this past month and what have you been liking. If you've tried some of the stuff that I mentioned and you like it as well or didn't work for you, whatnot, just mention it down below and I will see you guys in my next video.